on Erev Purim, I had a meeting with our Consul General in New York, and he told me that President Shazar intended that evening to hear Megillah in Crown Heights with the Rebbe. And immediately I knew what headlines are going to appear next day in the Israeli press. Why did the president go to the Rebbe? Why didn't the Rebbe go to the president? אז פתאום אני מקבל טלפון מהמזכיר של הנשיא שזר, הנשיא רוצה לדבר עם כבודו. אז הוא אומר לי, הנשיא של יושו, אנחנו הולכים לקרוא מגילה אצל הרבה, אני רוצה שתבוא יחד איתי. קבל לי זמן לבוא, באתי למלון, באה עם המכונית של הרבה לקחת את הנשיא. אבל הביטחון לא הרשה את זה, אז נסע הנשיא במכונית שלו, משוריינת כזאת שחורה, ואנחנו נסענו במכונית השנייה. Driving in a limousine, police car in front, police car behind, and outriders on motorcycles, sirens blasting, and all he could talk to me about was my mortsim in many. What do they want of me? Talking of the Israeli media. Well, I'm a Lubavitch, I want to see my Rebbe. They're in Hageni, this is our custom, this is our practice. My God, what's more, it's Purim, and I want to hear the Megillah. And then he began to hum to himself, Lubavitch in Igunim. <laughs> Looking out of the window, <laughs> with his hand on the strap. I always remember that picture. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, Arino Malkeinu, and, uh, Melech. קהל עמדו סדרנים עם, עם פסים, עם משטרה כמובן. כולנו פתחו את הדרך ונכנסנו שתי המכוניות עד הפתח של צוות סבנוב. פתחו את הדלת של הנשיא שזר ורמזו לנו שגם אנחנו נצא, תורת פמליה. אמר לי הנשיא בצחוק, אני לא הנשיא, you've been the president, הנשיא זה הרבה. I had the impression there was an intimacy between them. I had the impression that the two of them knew each other very well indeed. ‫אחר נכנס לתוך החדר של הרבה, ‫הנשיא שזר הביא איזה כתבי יד ‫שהוא מצא של כתבי חב"ד ‫מן הנשיאים הראשונים, ‫ואתה הביא את זה בתורת מתנה לרבה. ‫הרבה סרטון, ‫כבר גם המגילה. ‫הנשיא שזר אמר, ‫אני אביא אותו כבר. ‫הוא אמר, ‫שזה לא צבעים על אינטמן במגילה. ‫הטוב ובנח. ‫זה מגילה של מגילה, ‫כמו שפורט שלי. No one hops up that the security people don't know what Megillah reading is all about. Comes the first Haman. I'll never forget this. So the, the security guys there, they said, fucking garnish. You, know, you could see them all around. You saw the guys. They said, I'm a mile away. So she said, I'm a mile away. So she said, I'm a mile away. And all of a sudden, they're banging. And these guys grabbed their guns. It was the fun. And everybody stopped laughing. It was unbelievable. I'll never forget it. And he laid in the Megillah, and then he went upstairs. 
Shazas is to the Rebbe, the Rebbe is able to up fasten, because we show it was his time of Esther. And I'll wait outside, and the Rebbe will eat something, and then I'll come in for Yechidus. It's like the Rebbe, name it, and it's a You know, but they bought beautiful stuff. They bought glasses and then lemon on the tea. Gorgeous. They brought it into the Rebbe's room, and they were poured Shazar a cup of tea, and then he poured himself a cup of tea. He says to Shazar, no, machta brocha, whatever it was. Shazar made a brocha and started drinking, and the Rebbe doesn't touch anything. Nothing. Then Shazar drank himself a cup, the Rebbe filled him up another cup. They sat for about three hours or four hours in Chidus. And they come out. It was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Singing, clapping, well, people pushing, elbowing. <laughs> but, I mean. Rebbe Yatsa. The Kmodo Shlanasi Yatsa Akutsa, and he went to the Madrigot. But the Rebbe was, the Rebbe was scolding him. <laughs>